is going to be acceptable in your sight. Thank you because you will use us. Thank you because we will be our, you will be your children and you will be our God. Thank you because you will grant us all our desires. Thank you, Lord Almighty, because you manifest yourself in our lives today. We bless you because you are God. For we have prayed in Jesus' name. Great is the Lord that is greatly to be praised. Shall we rise to our feet? As we bless the name of the Lord this morning, the one who has given us the privilege to see today, ancient of this, will thank you. I will exalt you, Lord. For thou hast lifted me above my enemies, your banner of armies, Lord.
Jesus, you are so good. Jesus, you are so good. What no man can do, you are done for me. What no so good to us and on this note I want to welcome each and every one of us this morning if you know indeed God has done wonderful things for you I want you to wave your hands to the Lord and give him praise just wave your hands to him reiterate on glorious things he has done wonderful things, marvelous things Lord we worship you this morning we give you praise and glory blessed be your name Lord thank you Jesus I read from the book of Numbers 14, verse 24, just to encourage us this morning and to ginger us. Say, but my servant Caleb, because he has had a different spirit and has followed me fully, I will bring into the land which he entered, and his descendants shall take possession of it. I don't know your heart desire this year. I don't know, but the paramount thing that should be your heart desire is to have the love of Christ. And you cannot follow fully somebody that you don't love. So I want to encourage us this morning, just fasten your spirit. God is in the house this morning. He's here to settle you. He's here to meet you at every point of your need. Where shoe is pinching you, just relax in God's presence. And he's here. Just remember that word. He said, Caleb has followed me fully. And I want to put that cross to it and every one of us this morning. We have to follow him fully. If indeed we love him. So I welcome you into the God's presence this morning. Let's give a clap offering to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Video. Good morning. You are welcome to Life Application Service. Please let's celebrate Jesus with a round of applause. Service times. On Sundays, we hold three services. The Youth Connect Service, 7.30 to 8.45 a.m. The Life Application Service, 10 minutes past 9 to 10 minutes past 10 a.m. The Jesus Celebration Service, 10.30 to noon. Word of Life Telecast. Plan to watch the life-changing Word of Life Telecast every week on the following stations. BCOS every Sunday at 5 p.m. BCOS shows on Gold TV Channel 105 and on Star Times Channel 113. Please, you need to wear your face mask properly and maintain social distancing during the service. All COVID-19 protocols should be duly observed. Thank you. Bible study series. For forgiveness to be achievable, the following steps laid out in Matthew 5, 44 should be adapted. Pray for the offender daily. Speak positive things over their lives remotely. Do good to them. Visit or call them and so on. Love them. Loving them comes naturally after observing the previous steps. These and others we learned at the Bible study last Tuesday. Join us this Tuesday from 5.30 to 7 p.m. as we continue to study the love of Christ. Come with your family and loved ones. Ministering, Brother Olufemi Oyelade, Leaders Retreat. All leaders shall be meeting for a retreat this Saturday, January 29, 2020, 
by 3 to 6 p.m. It's for all team leaders, house pastors, cell leaders, and other leaders in the youth church, life application service, and Jesus celebration service. Please diarize and attend. Very important and pertinent issues will be discussed. We trust the Lord will meet with us. Amen. In his presence, our monthly prayer program, In His Presence, will hold next Sunday, 30th January, during the Jesus Celebration Service by 10.30 a.m. We look forward to His presence in abundance to bless us and have our prayers answered. Membership Class Membership Class for all graduates of the Believer Bible Class will hold on Sunday, February 6, in the Upper Room, immediately after the Jesus Celebration Service. All brethren who had completed the BBC in the past and have not done the membership class are welcome. Believer's Bible Class A new set of Believer's Bible Class will commence on Sunday, February 6. The class will hold from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. in the church school building. All brethren who just joined the church and all those who want to be workers and have not gone through the class are encouraged to participate. New Covenant Bible College Forms for enrollment into the New Covenant Bible College is still available for collection from the church office. Members who have not gone through the school are encouraged to enroll. You will never remain the same. Job Procurement and Empowerment Group invites interested participants to an exciting youth entrepreneurship development seminar. Theme, start leveraging youthfulness for boldness and capacity to take startup risks. The seminar seeks to motivate youths and young adults to take urgent, decisive, but calculated action on their business ideas so as to achieve success. Experienced youthful Christian experts and entrepreneurs, including a leading contemporary gospel artist, have been invited to facilitate the program. Date, Saturday, February 5, 2020, by 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Venue, Auditorium New Covenant Church, Agody Center, Ibadan. Register at bit.ly stroke jpeg start or call Brother Dimeji Oliz of the Youth Church on 0816-555-8301. Registration is compulsory and will close soon. Don't hesitate. Register now. Medical online payment. Pay your tithes, offerings, pledges and vows electronically by transfer or POS. Please pay to Stambik IBTC, account name New Covenant Church Agody Center, and the account number is 920-154-9762. To use the POS, kindly beckon to the ushers or visit the church office as you do so. God bless you. Please visit our website, www.nccagodycenter.org. To download our Sunday messages and get more information about the church and programs. Celebration time! Let us put our hands together in appreciation of God's mercies in the lives of this week's celebrants of birthdays and wedding anniversaries. Celebrants, have a blessed and prosperous year ahead in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. in prosperity and in good health in jesus name i want to welcome all our online viewers we welcome you and we pray that god indeed will bless you today in this service in the name of jesus if you are if you happen to be here if today happens to be your first time very first time of worshiping with us i want you to signify by raising your hand we pray for you we have been praying for you you are welcome my brother please stand on your feet stand off your on your feet there is a seat prepared for you here Please kindly pack your bags, your Bible. My sister too, at the back. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Please don't be in a hurry to leave after this service. 
We are going to give you a warm welcome and intimate you with our service. God bless you. Offering time. I want us to put our hand, deep our hands to our bags, our purses, our wallets as we give tangible offering to the Lord. Tight offering, special building. I mean, a building envelope and a special offering. Just use them appropriately as it applies to you. And I want to also encourage you once again, please try and go through this uh, Bible, the, the contact. The Bible study is not there, but I want you to go through it and also so that it can remind you of all our programs during the week, especially Bible study on Tuesday. I want to see you there. And the Lord has prepared his servant to bless us in Jesus' name. As the choir give us a special song and the ushers wait on us. Praise the Lord. not know when. God has promised to do exceedingly abundantly above all you ask or think of. Amen. <laughs>
appreciate God again for the choir. If we combine the exaltation by Brawali, Nelson, and the choir, I don't think we need any further ministration this morning. But I trust the Lord through the Holy Spirit that he will continue what he has started this morning. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the offering of your people. And we trust you, Lord, that according to your word, because they have obeyed, Lord, more than they can imagine, more than they can ask for, you shall cause to return to their bosom, their accounts, in the name of Jesus. When the people are saying there is a casting down, they will rejoice in the Lord of their God, because indeed you have lifted us off. Thank you, Father. Lord, we thank you for this, your word. Thank you, Lord, because indeed the entrance of your word bringeth light and understanding to the sinful. It shall not come in the enticing words of men's wisdom, but in the demonstration of your power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because no flesh shall glory in your presence. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Tell somebody who will do it again. You may not know how. You may not know when, but it will do it again. I discovered that the problem we normally have is we have cast God in the how and when. So we are always struggling. Praise the Lord. This morning I will be sharing very briefly what I call is a question actually. What can you see? Ask someone, what can you see? What can you see? I discover how through the scriptures and my very small years on earth that the coordination between what you can see physically and the mind, the highs of the mind, is very, very strong. Very, very strong. I will give us an instance. Where I grew up in Abelkuta, we call that place Holy Trinity. Behind that school is a very big graveyard. And I had my grandmother, who has a bungalow where I used to go and read. So this particular day, I was coming late in the night, around 9. I call it late because I'm an early sleeper. So around 9, it was so lonely. And you know, because I will pass through that place that I know that it's not far from a graveyard. In my mind, you can guess what I was afraid of. I was afraid of seeing a ghost. Then there's this bungalow not far from the school at the junction. Somebody put a white cloth there. And I think it was around this time of the year. You no, know, the breeze was just blowing it. And if you see the, all the goose pimples all over me, like, oh, how am I going to pass through these ghosts? And I don't know whether I was praying because then I was not born again. I don't know whether I was praying or I just, you know, quotable quotes. I don't know how I got close. And I saw that it's just one dress like that that was flowing in the breeze. I felt like pulling it down. Then I came, I wrote a quotation then. Though my friend made joke of me that who knows you that you are writing quotable quotes, you are ye. And I said, in a situation of fear, it is what the mind sees that the eyes, is what the mind perceives that the eyes will see. Praise the Lord. And since then, I knew how very strong it is, our mind. Because if somebody patted me on the back, it's just a clue. I say, it's a lie. It's a lie. This one a ghost. Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord. Let's open our Bible quickly to Jeremiah chapter 1. We'll read verse 11 to 14. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 11 to 14. Are we there? Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 11 to 14. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? And I said, I see a rod of an almond tree. Verse 12. Then said the word unto me, Thou art well seen, for I will hasten to perform my word. I will hasten my word to perform it. Let's also open our Bibles to Psalm 27, verse 13. Psalm 27, verse 13. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I had fainted unless I had believed to see. Praise the Lord. God himself had to start creation with light. Because I normally tell myself that if God didn't start with light, how, will he, how was he going to know that what he's created was good? He had a perception of what he wanted. And that was why after the creation, he came back to say, everything he created will come back and say, ah, and it was good. That was good, I passed mark. It met what I conceived, what I saw before now. Hallelujah. Our, the eyes of our mind, Apostle Paul will say, the eyes of your understanding, all these things are so powerful in our walking in faith. In our walking in faith. And I discovered that sometimes we pray, we don't have expectation. Sometimes we pray just for, the, for righteousness sake. That I've had my money devotion, I have this, I have that. And it happens to me sometimes too that you don't really see God doing it. It's just as, how will it be like that I, I have not told God? I have not asked God to do it. But beyond that... We need to walk in faith. And in Romans chapter 8, verse 28, something very important that is, in, that is crucial to the performance of our faith is our love for God. Is our love for God. The Bible says, and all things work together for those who love God. So that condition is so paramount. If you know the scripture from Genesis chapter 1 to Revelation ending, and you do not love God, there won't be performance. All things work together. So when they push you down, God is saying that it will still work together for your good because you love God. But if you don't love God, if they push you down, they will need a crane to push you up because the word will not apply to you. Hallelujah. I want us again to open our scriptures, our Bibles to First King, First King nineteen two to three. First King nineteen two to three. Are we there? Then Jezebel sent messengers. We all we all knew the story of Elijah and the prophets of Baal, how they were destroyed. And this is very interesting. Then Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah, saying, So let the gods do to me, which gods again? Gods that have been demolished. But she said, So let the gods do to me, and more also, if I make not that life as the life of one of them by tomorrow, about this time. Three. And when he saw that, This same Elijah that assembled the prophets of Baal and the power of God moved mightily 
to make a soaked altar to burn with fire. And they destroy all the prophets of us. So, so much so that the king himself went home defeated. The king now got home, narrated to his wife what Elijah did. And the wife now sent word to Elijah that, you know, women now, except it's not this and that. And the Bible says, and Elijah saw it. He probably saw himself burning on the altar of dragged, being dragged through the city, being punished. And he did what? He fled. What can you see? When the word of, the, when the word of God comes forth, you must paint a picture of the word, particularly when it is the prophetic. Miracles don't happen because you need it. Miracles happen because you desire it. That's why Yorubas, in their wisdom, will sing, I think it's a translation to Yorubasha, pass me not by gen to save you. Because if you have not demonstrated beyond reasonable doubt that you desire, the promise is for those who really desire, those who can see the performance of the word. The story of Abraham and I, the story of Abraham and Sarah also comes to mind when the angel appeared and they were conversing with Abraham that by this time, next age, still enjoy pleasure. And even my husband that is stricken in age, she couldn't see the process. She couldn't see the outcome and the mercy of God only worked for her because what worked for her did not work for uh, uh, Zachariah did not that you will be blind for a season your eyes will be blind for a season praise the Lord I don't know what God has promised you this year even as we have been encouraged we are being charged to love God to continue in the love of God. It is also important that you stir up yourself. Develop your wo the word of God that has come to you. Seek more scriptures. I tell people, if you are waiting on the Lord for the fruit of the womb, ignore corners. Thank God for the internet. Download a picture of a very beautiful baby. Just put it beside your bed. When you wake up in the morning, prophesy. According to the scripture, prophesy and declare to yourself that, look, I will see my own baby. Because situations will speak to you. It will get to a point, even your age will speak to you. That, oh, by Como, you are getting hold of. This thing cannot happen again. You say, no, it can happen. Ah, it can happen. At what age did Abraham Lincoln become the president of America? At what age did... Sarah become mother. It can happen. God had Abraham. He said, go to the seashore. He needed to connect his inner eyes with the promise that he was giving him that, look, if you can count, and of course you can't count the sand at the seashore, so shall you, somebody that doesn't have even one child. And he was being promised many nations. But it takes moving and seeing the performance of what God has promised. What God has promised you is taking so long. David was anointed at the age of 17. But ironically, it was after the anointing came upon his life that he's going to become king. I think I've said that before. I said if it were to be this generation, after that anointing, any time he passes through the palace, it's like, <laughs> calm down. At least if it's me, calm down. It will soon live there. I will take selfie. Papa, it will soon be my, my resident. But he never bargained for it. The king despised him. He became a fugitive. He was living in the wilderness, being confronted by lion and bear. But alas, the word of God came to performance. Joseph, he dreamt. That's why I said God himself believes so much 
in the audiovisual. God will paint the image, whether it will take you sleeping for you to dream, or even while you are wide awake, it will let you see. Because there is a motivation that comes from what you can see. My brothers, my sister, if you have seen it, it is easier for you to move in faith. If you see yourself standing before a crowd, lecturing them, and afterwards they stand up in rising ovation for you, do you know that all through your preparation for first class, and first degree, second degree, people will not know how come you are going ahead. If you have to drink Gary, if you have to trek from you high to Apata, what you have seen will keep motivating you. And when you get there, you will say, wow, it was really worth waiting for. Please let me ask somebody again that what can you see? The suffering of this moment, they are nothing to be compared with the glory that have been revealed. The scripture said about Jesus, that he went through the cross, not minding the shame because of the glory that he could see. So what can you see? Is what you see that will help you keep going. That is when, ah, brah, Omolewa just bought Lexus Jeep 2020, uh, 2022 model. That is when you will be able to rejoice with him and there will be no strife. There will be no jealousy. Because he that promised you, you know what he promised. He didn't say you will buy Lexus Jeep. That's not what promised. He promised you that you will be a great teacher. You will deliver words that will motivate people. Yes, there will be reward from that. But you know what you saw. So when people are having manifestation all around you, you thank God for them. Hallelujah. Because your own is coming. I also encourage people that look, if you see somebody that has shared a testimony that is relevant to what, God, if you can do it for brother, she know. Abba, you can even do more than that. You know what the scripture says? It said, great, greater than what you can think. It said, exceeding abundantly more than you can think or even imagine. Your imagination is playing a role. I tell people, once I can imagine it, I seal it up. God can do more than that. So if I can imagine now that at a point I'll be riding private jets, I say God can do more than that because by the time I will have to buy that jet, I don't know what will be flying then. So God can do more than that. Whatever is flying then or means of transportation, that means I can afford it. Whatever it is, just pay the, look at it. You want to become the C, chief executive officer of your organization? You want to be the most, has God told you that? Is it going to be according to his glory? If you have seen it and you remain in God's love, then it is a matter of time. And like the song said, you may not know how, you may not know when, but he will do it again for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So many times we are truly cast down. We are discouraged. We are challenged. But there are normal faces in life. There are, no, there are normal faces in life. They are normal. If you have to ask everyone, what are you facing? You'll be shocked. You, were, you probably came into church this morning wondering that, ah, why am I so beaten? Why am I so downcast? If you have to ask everyone, even those people you are envying, because when we knot our tie and everything looks so perfect, you will be shocked to know that I also have something I'm trusting God for. And you see that it's in your own area of grace. Ah, why is he trusting God now? Me that I have to beg my wife that have you done family planning? And here is he still trusting God for the fruit of the womb. No. I'm trusting God for something else. And to me, that's my own Canaan land. 
That's my own real boat. I've made attempts. I've dug wells all about. And when that one comes, I say, ah, Eureka. I finally found it. But what can you see? If you can't see your destination, you don't know when you get there. That's the truth. A destination you have not seen. I can just carry you now, brother. Let's go. And we get to offer. I said, ah, have you heard of Lagos State before? This is where they call Lagos State. And you say, praise the Lord. Ah, I never knew I would get to Lagos State too. I've got it to Lagos State. I will now send messages around. No, alas, you are in Offa in Quara State. Because you didn't know. But a destination that you have seen, a destination you know. Somebody can't take me now to Bene Republic and say, ah, welcome to GFK. It's not possible. It's not possible. I've not been there before, but I've seen the picture. I know how the environment will be. I know how the weather will be, everything. So you can't scam me with that. So a destination you have not seen, that God has not shown, even when you get there, you won't know. And when you won't know, without knowledge, abuse is inevitable. You will misuse it. You will abuse it. You will abuse it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that in Hebrews 11, chapter 1, faith this substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. That not seen is not really talking about physical highs. It's talking about something that is not yet tangible. Something that is still abstract. Yet you are walking in a realm that is making it so evidential. Is it not a contradiction? Evidence of things not seen. So what makes it an evidence? If it is. But he's saying that though it seems abstract, but because of the level you have, the dimension you are operating, you can already relate with it as something concrete. Praise the Lord. Don't forget the link between here and there is those who love God. So when you love God, it is fundamental that what you will see will be in accordance to his word, to his promises. If God has not said it and his word has not confirmed it, if you are seeing, then it is film trick. It is film trick. But if God has spoken it, and you have a scriptural basis to confirm it, alas, it's only a matter of time. Your film is in production. And very soon, it will be premiere. And there will be celebration. There will be manifestation. There will be jubilation. The Bible says, Oh, make it not ashamed. So while you are waiting, people may scorn you. They, they, may, they may jest at you. They may say all manner of words. But you have this confidence that him that has promised can never, never fail. Rise up on your feet. Choir, can we have that chorus? I just, as that song goes, just remember the word of God that has come to you. What has he promised you? Remember what he has promised you. And thank him in advance that indeed, he cannot fail.
everlasting Father, the author and the finisher of our faith, the God that cannot lie, the God that cannot fail, the Alpha and Omega. Father, for as many, Lord, as many words, Lord, that have come to your people, hasting to perform them in Jesus' name. As many as are weary, as many as are down, as many as are frustrated by the reason of your word this morning, let their souls be lifted. Let their faith rise. Let them continue in the love of God. And let there be testimonies. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed.